the day where we talk about choosing it and losing it. Please welcome Rose Reisman. Thank you, Always Tracy. educate us on the best choices out there when yeah. it comes to these prepackaged foods. Yeah. And there are choices. I'm not telling people not to buy prepackaged or restaurant foods, but I'm just giving you a better solution. That's right. We need so, to see the whole picture, right? Got Today it. we're going to focus on soups, yeah. soups, which most people think is actually a healthy alternative. Right. And people sometimes have a soup before a sandwich, but there's yeah. so many differences in soups in terms of fat, calories, sodium. So we're first of all going to take a trip to Red Lobster. Okay. okay. So the first one you see is a New England clam chowder. So here's, you know when you hear Manhattan versus New England? Yes. New England is basically butter and cream based. Okay. Manhattan is tomato. So think oh. about how you can remember. Okay, red. Manhattan's probably going to be better for yeah. you. Yeah. Right? So here you go. A soup like that is absolutely delicious. It's got clams in there, potatoes, other veggies, cream and butter. 480 calories mm -hmm. and 34 grams of fat. So consider if your daily intake is 1,500 calories, that's a good portion already. Yeah. So eating this soup is going to give you the equivalent, and this is what you should order at Red Lobster, of 90 baby shrimp in that's terms of, shrimp. of calories. So the same calories in shrimp, because shrimps are so good for you in terms yes. of protein, you're not getting the fat, that's what you could be eating, or those big jumbo shrimp cocktail, which yes. is better. I have seen people go through about that many shrimp at a party Yeah, before, by yeah, way. absolutely. It's easy to do with it this is. baby shrimp. So, so think about the soup before a meal, yeah. but there is a great soup at Red Lobster called the spicy chicken tortilla. Mm -hmm. And this is basically like a tomato stock base with um, chunks of tomatoes, veggies, even some fried tortillas and cheese, 310 calories versus the 480 but 11 grams of fat versus the 34 grams of fat. That's you're still getting a great soup. A huge difference. Yeah. And I would think that, you know what, if you're going to have deep fried tortillas, I do not want that soup. That's Whereas, that's it. This you is got actually it. a better Absolutely. option. Absolutely. So, so next time you go in there, realize the soup is never going to be your meal. You're then yeah. going to have maybe the Admiral's Feast or something on top, and yes. you've had all your intake for the day with for that sure. lunch. Although all clam right. chowder, I always think, is kind of a meal. It is. Right? It, it is. should be a meal in itself. It should it's a big be. One. But go for the Manhattan. All yes. right. So now I I love this because raising four children, my kids used to sneak this, go into the stores and buy it because I didn't let them buy it right away. They'd go in and buy it, take it up to camp with them. They'd have suitcases filled with this. <laughs> so here's a problem with Mr. Noodle. It, it is delicious and it is addicting, but it does have these noodles that are deep fried in palm oil yeah. to remove the water. I always wondered why they looked like this Yeah, because I so, ate quite a bit of this in university. Yeah. Everybody right? did. It's cheap. It, it fills you up sort it's of. It's hard. But here, this is called chicken or they have beef flavor but get this there is no beef or chicken in there it's artificial flavor it's really right. it's really vegan so if you're vegan you can eat it <laughs> but but this bowl comes in at 280 calories but more shocking than that because that's not a lot of calories yeah 10 grams of fat where in chicken noodle soup should there be fat there shouldn't be that much fat right that's the deep frying of the noodles it's a deep frying of the noodles so okay. here's what's fascinating you can get Campbell soup it's a heart heart noodles and beef or chicken are you ready? ready for the same amount of fat you can get 10 of these that's how much 10 would fill up in terms of fat, you could eat all of that equivalent to the same fat. You've got it's, to be it's, kidding it, No, me. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh, my gosh. Is that amazing? Yeah, this is only 0.5 grams. 0.5 grams of fat in soup. here. So what you have to do is when you read the labels, you realize it's because these little guys are deep fried. These are not. These are boiled noodles. Okay. So what a difference. Yeah. So instead, go to the Campbell's, the soup in hand. I love it. Mm -hmm. 70 calories, okay, versus a 280. And 1.5 grams of fat, and you're getting some real chicken in there, Tracy. There's Way actually better. chicken in There's there. There's actually chicken. And okay. what they're using is just a nice dry pasta. Yeah. Okay, so better choice. Good or you, one. You could have this for lunch today. But, <laughs> could you but, imagine? But every time your kids have one of these, just remember, put that in yeah. your mind. Print it Not in there good. to make sure. Just take out the old ladle and you eat that it. soup for lunch. All right, let's go to the keg. Okay. So the keg, great French onion soup. And we all know French onion soup is delicious. What, what can Yum. hurt you between a little beef broth and onions? Well, what can hurt you is the amount of cheese. I mean, I'm not even showing it here as well, but you know you usually get loads. It's so delicious. Like a big, thick layer it's, of skin cheese It's the best. It's top. the best, but it's not so good for your hips or your heart. Right. So this is coming in at about 413 calories, 21 grams of fat. Again, mm. that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, my goodness around 3,000 milligrams of sodium equivalent. 3,000? Yeah, 
It is, almost, it is always a salty always sort of the flavor salt, soup, The right? stock and the cheese equivalent to 286 pretzels <laughs> in terms of sodium. <laughs> okay. These are delicious, by the way. Yeah, they are. But that's how many you could eat in terms of the salt, and we know that there's a lot of salt in pretzels. Yeah, that's too much. Instead, the keg has a beautiful wild mushroom soup, mm -hmm. all right? And you know what? It looks cream-based, but it can't be because it's only 194 calories versus 413. 10 grams of fat versus 21 grams of fat. Okay, good point though. You have to ask about the base, Absolutely. right? Because and I think mushroom and I think cream base see? as well. So ask them and what's nice is half the sodium. Very good. Delicious. All sodium, right. sodium, sodium when it comes to your soup. So, and you know what? That's a problem that's what with soup. so careful for. Uh, there's a lot of sodium. Okay, let's go to Tim Hortons. All right. So, Tim Hortons developed a new flavor. It's absolutely delicious cream of sun dried tomato soup. Mm. I go, duh, what's in there? Cream. Yes. So, the minute they say that, you know it's cream based or butter based. Yeah. So, almost 300 calories, 290 calories, 18 grams of fat. Nobody just has that. 18 grams of fat. Equivalent to two and a half of their delicious. Turkey bacon club sandwiches. <gasps> Jason, she said in bacon. terms of fat. Bacon. There's All bacon right. So oh, bacon's okay. Yeah. But you could eat this many sandwiches compared to the one soup. Yeah. But instead, go to Tim Hortons and have their delicious chicken noodle soup. Any clear base. Soup. Any clear base, 160 calories versus a 290, 2.5 grams of fat versus the 18. That is a huge it's difference. It's huge. So it's calories, it's fat, it's sodium. That's all leading to obesity, high blood right. pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. But great switches. I'm not telling you not to go to these places, but there yeah. are better choices. Have your soup and have your clear soup. Have your Thank soup you and rolls. eat it too.